Hey guys, today is a sad, sad day. I finished one of my favorite shows I've been watching in the past, I want to say, month. But with me, it's probably been a couple months because I'm really slow at watching anything. And it's not an anime. Um, this show is a show I kind of wanna, I kind of wanna put out there for people to watch. It is a Japanese television show that was released by Mill Creek Entertainment. If you know anything about Mill Creek, uh, all they do is they get public domain stuff, and they'll do like 50 pack, 100 pack of movies, and they do that kind of thing. And once in a while, they get some cool things like monster movie compilations and stuff, and some, and I didn't know, a bunch of these weird Japanese television shows. Um, Ultraman is one if you've heard of it. There's another one called like Iron King and like Red Giant Robot Battle something. They do a lot of giant robot kind of moot shows. Um, but one I actually found in a, um, it was like a five for ten dollar kind of bin uh, at a used shop, but this was sealed brand new. And that is Fight Dragon, which oh, I picked this up because I was really. When I went, all the movies I picked up were martial arts films, because for some reason I've been wanting to watch martial art movies, and on my bed right now I have a hundred pack of movies. I know. But I was really wanting to watch something, so I saw this, I'm like, oh this, I kind of thought it was a movie thing. And then I read the back, and I'm like, it's a, it's, it's a kung fu, um, television show. Awesome! And then I get in the car, going home, and I'm reading the back, and I'm like, it's a Japanese Kung Fu television show. If you don't know, Kung Fu is Chinese. So, like, it's all these things that I like in one massive thing. Um, now, before I get into the actual show and what it really is, imagine um, if you've seen these public domain, like, Kung Fu movies where they're really bad, they're, like, dubbed, like, horribly, they're laughably bad, um, and they have, like, crazy action scenes, and, like, you know, your typical 70s, 80s kung fu movie that you used to see all the time. Imagine that, the hour and a half movie, condensed to 22 minute episodes with a running storyline. I found gold. <laughs> this is gold. Um, so, fight Dragon! It is basically about a man named Dragon. And if you don't know, I don't know who this guy is supposed to be. That guy isn't in the show. But, um... It's about this man here. Uh, the actor's name is Yuzuki Kart. Oh man, I said it a minute ago. Yuzuki Kotria. I can't say words. I don't know what's wrong. But he's actually he's another martial artist who's actually met Bruce Lee and Jackie Chan, I believe. I believe there's actually like a photo you can find with all three of them, and I think they fought in a movie once. But he's another one of those big ones. But we don't really know much about him because he's a, from what I understand, a Japanese martial artist, which you don't hear too much about because I know Bruce Lee was a, did not like karate but that's irrelevant um, it's about a man named Dragon which basically as back to what I was saying about Bruce Lee he's a Bruce Lee ripoff character if you don't know Bruce Lee was called Dragon so this man named Dragon who runs an orphanage which um, is abandoned quite fast in the show but he runs an orphanage and he is a karate instructor and he gets a message from his his old karate master, um, you know, his senpai, uh, <laughs> and to come back to China or Hong Kong, you know, and like there, there, there's problems or something along those lines. And he goes and he sees uh, his old, his mentor, or not his mentor, he sees his mentor and he also sees his disciple and the sister uh, of, no, the daughter of the original, I believe. Um, Senpai guy, I might be getting things confused. And they learn about this evil organization who is keep either, they'll be kidnapping people, holding people hostage, bribing people, trying just to murder people, um, all this kind of, you know, that kind of idea um, for their own, like, evil organization plans. And they're just an assassination group. And, um,. There's issues with uh, this one assassination guy trying to kill, I guess, Mentor's friend or something, and they need protection, so Dragon goes in and does his thing and defeats the bad guy. Um, the cool thing about this show is each episode, um, the enemy is usually, like, for a long time, they do change it up later on, but it's usually color 
animal. So like green spider, purple jaguar, black monkey. Is that racist? Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> but you know what I mean though. It's like color animal. And they usually have like a, a, a weird ability like green spider, which actually is one I can remember, uh, which is creepy. He has a box full of spiders and he'll have like a little spider go into someone's room and try to poison them. Now imagine, this is like an old 70s show, so it looks 70s, it's cheap, it's cheesy, just, you can imagine all this in your head right now. Um, and like, oh man, I lost my train of thought. Bas basically, each episode is villain of the week, kind of thing. And um, eventually, they take notice of Dragon, and they uh, start sending Hitman to Dragon. Uh, and uh, usually, during the Hitman trying to kill Dragon, there's usually another plot over here about someone trying to hurt someone else and dragons trying to help them while this person either the same villain knows this and he's luring dragon or like another villain is it's usually it sounds complicated but basically it's just villain of the week each episode um it's pretty episodic for the most part there's a couple episodes where they're like you know on the next episode of fight dragon um you know will continue the story, and it's usually a two-parter. But usually it's episodic. Um, there is technically a story from beginning to ending. You know, it's basically defeat Shadow, defeat the head guy. Um, and there's actually a few twists in the show with um, Shadow, which is really cool. Um, now, for uh, some information about this box set. This is not the original casing. Um, if you don't know anything about... Uh, Mill Creek Entertainment, they usually put their, they'll have like a DVD case like this and they'll put plastic inserts in the case. It's really dumb. I don't know why they do it. I don't even think it should, technically it doesn't sound cheaper to me, but they do it. So on three discs, you get 24 episodes, I believe. Um, I could be wrong. 26. 26 episodes. And it's, just imagine your kung fu movies and stuff, but with Japanese humor. So like there, there's you have Dragon and his his um disciple is that the right word I believe it's the right word, and he's the comedy relief. He's the the anime comedy relief if you know what I mean. He's the one who was like, you know, oh I trip over my own self and ho ho you know that kind of thing. And it sounds like he might get annoying, but he really doesn't. He's well needed and those two fit well together. Um, but uh yeah, uh, Mill Creek, they uh shove everything really tight on discs, but it looks fine. Here's the thing that might throw some people off. It should sound normal to this community of anime watchers, is that there is no dub. It is sub only. And seeing a sub only Japanese show from the goddamn 70s released on DVD is mind boggling in its own. But the fact that you can get this for under 10 bucks, some places five bucks if you do some searching, it is so goddamn worth your time. You get 10 hours, of kung fu television and it's cheesy as hell um villain of the week comedy slapstick action i can't recommend this show enough um if you like old school like villain of the week anime then this show is a no-brainer it's amazing if you like kung fu it's amazing if you like martial arts movies it's amazing. I can't stress it enough. I know this actor has done a few other famous things. I personally can't think of anything. I know he's super famous, but um, in probably Japan and other places. But uh, I can't stress it enough. Go check out Fight Dragon, the complete series um, from Media Creek. Yeah, um, that's all I can really say. It's amazing. I like it. I want to spread the word to people to be like, this is something that exists. Kung Fu movies in 22 minutes. Just imagine, as I said, a Kung Fu movie just smushed down to 22 minutes and then you like, have to squish all that action into 22 minute episodes. It's amazing. Go check it out. I gotta go. I'm rambling. Have a good one, guys.